Hello everyone and welcome back to Toll War Rome 2. We're playing as Pontus on Legendary Difficulty and we're also playing on Patch 2.0. I'm not sure if it's the correct number for it, but it promised quite a lot of gameplay improvements and quite a lot of crash fixes. Now, crashes were completely unbearable in the game. It was really hard to play some sometimes. Um, I've been playing with Egypt. I've crashed like literally a hundred times. Um, I start a battle, I crash. Even in this Pontus Let's Play on episode 1, I crashed. That was my first crash in this game and hopefully it will never happen again. Um, thanks to this patch, I guess. Uh, I'm, I've yet to test out the, the AI improvements, which I'm really hoping they did fix it. Um, you know that thing when they charge into you and they just run back? Like they get really near your phalanx or your units and they just run the fuck back. Um, they also improved the food and squalor, um, the, the balancing of it. I'm, I'm not really sure uh, how they improve it. Um, it was pretty nice before. Um, it was manageable. Uh, I can't say it was too easy. Usually just um, get completely um, sidetracked and forget about food and your entire empire collapses and your armies just abandon you, they desert your... basically every single unit deserts. Like, each turn port I used to get like minus a thousand men in like my ten armies or so. Um, that's not a lot, considering that I had ten armies, but yeah, that's still quite something. So, last episode we were plotting against um, the Gelatia. Though we really want Trapezos because we want to get a third city here. Um, we also want to get the Grove of Nymphes, um, but we do not have the four food, we only have two food. And I really want my entire empire suffering because of uh, one city. So, I'm gonna build this little Hellen Hellenistic hamlet um, because it's causing me no public order. Uh, minuses and no food minuses like it, it's just ideal basically I don't really want to destroy it now um, unless if it won't cost me anything yeah I'm guessing it won't cost me anything so I'm gonna destroy it though I don't want slums to generate here um, I'm, j I'm just gonna, gonna keep it but we before we do anything before we start to the war against uh, Gelatia uh, and Trapezos. We want to get rid of these Cappadocians that we took their homelands, we raped their women, we take their city, and we kind of want to kill them. We just want to deal with them so they wouldn't be a threat to us because they still have um, five and six, seven men. So a total of 12 men, 12 units, that is, 12 full units. Which is why I'm mostly concerned. Um, actually, um, now that I remember it, uh, I Have read the patch notes and there was a lot on uh, naval battles uh, and graphical glitches. For example, if you battle. set up a fort and you get, um, you get attacked and there's like a navy next to it, your fort will be floating uh, in the sea. Uh, I've never encountered this problem, but people say it's quite a huge deal. Um, and I believe this, like, imagine a goddamn fort floating in the middle of nowhere, like, there's a massive battle, like, over here, and just a fo there's a fort floating right here. It'd be hilarious to see. Um, anyways, let's, let's select the technology. They also added uh, a little marker that shows you if you're currently um, researching something. Uh, it's useful, though it's not as, as necessary. Um, it used to report. Uh, it used to um, tell you that you have a r an available research opportunity before you end your turn, and I believe it was enough. Though this is nice as well. So, huh? Kind of want to build uh, the advanced construction construction because of the Odeon and the subterranean aqueduct. Though mainly because of the Odeon, because it gives like um, plus 10 or so happiness and public order to your entire goddamn region. It's fucking amazing. Ready for battle. Uh, you sure want. No, I don't want to end my turn. 
Oh. Let's add accomplished skirmishers and tradition. Let's go for zeal. I always want to go for zeal. Let's see if we can also replace, I mean, change the name. The Nocturnity. I remember having this name with Egypt. I really love um, their history feature. Uh, years of service, 12, commanders, 2, Mithridates, uh, victories 1, defeat 0, and Curios, the current general. Um, 2 for 0. I really love uh, that it keeps track of what battles you fought. I really don't care where I fought the battles, but I really care about statistics like 2 and 0. It, it's something that it basically gives the game a little bit flavor, and I really like that. Anyways, now, um, well, it also shows how many turns is left, so you can always be aware of your technologies. And yeah, now it's end our turn. So, they've also in improved the um, ship movement speeds, which actually haven't had a problem, but one major thing they improved with the... Oh crap, what the hell is going on? Oh, okay. Let, let's fight. Um, one major thing they did that I really love is um, when you when you fight a naval battle um, and you want to select units, for example, um, range units to attack from range and general uh, should ram the smaller boats. For example, the general has a really massive boat and you would just want to use it to ram some range boat or a transport ship so it could quickly sink uh, an enemy boat like in one in one hit. Um, and you just want to take the other units and make them board the other ships. So you can do that, like, you have to babysit every single goddamn unit. Like, if you make an entire, like, list of units, for example, this entire, um, bar of, uh, Eastern Spearmen, if I want them to board, and I want these guys to ram, um, they're all gonna ram. The game doesn't care who you selected what. I mean, who selected what, but it's just gonna care, uh, it's only boards, basically. I have no clue how should I explain it, but it was pretty, pretty annoying, and if you played the game, I guess you know it's it. And if you saw the Angry Joe show, uh, review of Rome 2, um, you should know this. It's like, the number one thing he mentioned about, um, naval battles. It's pretty irritating, it's pretty annoying, and thank god they fixed it. Though I'm not really sure, um... They said that this game was gonna have perfect AI, but, well, uh, that didn't happen. Like, at their interview trailers, uh, uh, they said that they invested a lot of money at AI. Uh, bullshit, that was complete bullshit. They didn't invest a single goddamn penny in AI. Um, I guess now they did. And we're gonna see. I'm gonna set up these phalanxes, right? I'll set them uh, hoplite phalanx, and we'll see if they just ram us. Oh, I have to reposition them. All right. Um, if they just ram us, that's gonna be fine. You know, they just ram us and continue fighting, or they try to flank us. It'll be something a little bit difficult, more difficult, but a little bit more exciting to see. Uh, I've heard stories how the AI outplayed players. Yeah, it's something that like, I'm pretty excited to see as well. Let's see, how do I want to set this stuff up? I'm gonna just set them up here. Uh, I'm gonna turn off skirmish mode. Uh, same for this. I'm gonna actually place them up here. Because the AI, uh, before the patch, really love to just charge through your units for the flag, for the objective, um, and do very little fighting in the process, like just whoosh, through here, and sometimes just get through my phalanx if they're not dead, and get all my slingers, just start fighting on my slingers. Um, it's pretty annoying, um, and it's pretty stupid for them because they like 80% of their men die, while 20% get on my slingers, which is um, a complete waste, in my opinion. Like, strategically speaking, that's a complete waste. Alright, let's take this guy. And also, I would like to congratulate everyone on GTA 5 who's playing on Xbox. Congrats, I hope you enjoy the game. It'll be like a year or a month before it comes out for PC. Um, can't wait. 
So if everyone anyone has GT5, I hope you enjoy it. God damn it. Alright, let's see. You have some mercenary hillmen, some slinger, some Cappadocian cavalry, some spearmen, and some more slingers. Hmm, but these slingers look a little bit more... What the hell? They look a little bit more armed. Mine look... Oh, never mind. They look exactly the same. Yeah, my bad. I thought they looked like they had chain or something. I guess they looked... Um, this guy with chain mail. Um... I'm actually not really sure, I didn't read the entire list of patch notes, um, I really should read it ent entirely, uh, because it has some useful information there, um, but yeah, let's, let's see if these guys ram me, if they approach me strategically, or they try to flank, well, they're not gonna flank me, but if they, like, go through here, like, just rush to my slinger, so it's gonna be a problem, but I'm guessing they're just gonna... I hit my goddamn uh, forties. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Let's see this. Let's see this. Speed this up. What the? I'm not really sure if they're stupid or they're smart. Oh, oh. What's going on? Oh. Shit, weren't. Oh my god, why don't they fire at will? Fire at will! No, 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 no. Oh my god, I'm, I messed this one up. I messed this one up badly. Okay, they charged me. They didn't screw themselves up. Let's wipe them out completely. Um, um, let's speed this stuff up. Frenzy's charge. Let, let's continue, let's finish this stuff over. Um, let's see if we can kill them so they would be um, less of a threat later on. And they still have their general, which is. Oh, god damn it, they still have their general. They're gonna still be uh, a nuisance to us. Not so much of a threat, but still a nuisance. Um, they're gonna keep attacking me, and I won't be able to move my armies out. Just stay here. Yeah. They're gonna piss me off. Just. Whoa, 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 wait. They're turning around. Oh, never mind. That's my general. <laughs> I thought it was their general. Come on, come on, trample him. Oh, shit. I really love this ability. I'm not sure if it does anything, but every time I charge, I use it and. I guess I just trample him. I hope that's what it does. Come on, why aren't you chasing him? I mean, come on, what the hell? I just need to finish these guys up. Um, are there any more units scattered around here? Yeah, there are some here. Okay, chase them down. And you guys chase these guys out. No, I didn't get a chance to shoot them. Yeah, let's actually just wait until this is over. Um, guess they dealt with them. Um, and yeah, these guys are all that's left. Come on, kill them!
was quite a massive slaughter, I must say. <laughs> Seriously. Uh, they lost 500 men when I lost 30. Yeah, uh, that's was near difficulty for you. Though, I, I can't complain, I had uh, Hoplites that killed, what, like, 100 each or so? Yeah, completely destroyed them. All that's left is a uh, general, which will, of course, retreat back and bug me later on. Yeah, that's quite fucking annoying. Now, they also um, fixed a lot of bugs where, for example, you, you move your spy on your army and neither of you can move, which, you, which I encountered when I was playing with Egypt. It, it was pretty annoying. Um, now, imagine if I just move on my army with my spy and neither of them could move. I just have to stand there with 20 units, costing like two grand a fucking turn in taxes, um, just sit there and do nothing. Along with a useless spy. That was something. It was quite game breaking. Well, not game breaking. I guess it was match breaking. I had to load uh, an earlier save. Speaking about saves, I I really love that they didn't make us restart our progress because a lot of people were um, worried that when this patch launches, um, everyone's gonna have to start over. Like literally everyone is gonna have to delete their saves or the saves will be corrupted or something. And holy shit! My god. I did not see that coming. Um, can I raise an army? I can. Um, let's go for this guy because he's free. Um, let's get, uh, Pikeman. Ready for battle. Let's see if we can hire some mercenaries. Um, they have six, nine units. That, that's quite bad. God damn it. Uh, we fight for you, my lord. Let's see what we can, what can we get. Um, it's gonna cost me quite a bit, but it, it's worth it. It's worth it. God damn it. Mm, higher. Uh, should I get everything? Holy shit! Okay. Uh, I hope all of these guys die because I'm now losing money. Ready for orders. My uh, lord. I really need to get the city. Like 200 taxes is gonna be quite nice for me. Or should I get Ankyra, which is under siege? It gives 600 per turn. Yeah, that's quite quite nice. Province Mesopotamia. All right. There's some rebels. Ah, whatever. All right. Can I can I kill him? Yeah, awesome. I can kill him. Now I'm gonna lose maybe. But uh, later on, my garrison will probably be able to withstand his army. Um, oh, he has slingers, so that e that will either be a problem or a good thing. Um, well, slingers are really easy to kill, but I don't have any horsemen. Oh, except I have my general. So let's see. Oh, never mind. I've God damn it! They took hoplites. I mean hoplites. Whatever. Um, these guys are. Infantry. Hail them. Yeah, hail them. Javelin man. And just pretty standard javelin. Man. Now I'm gonna have my cavalry. Um, maybe hide if it's possible. But I really don't like that they, they didn't increase the zooming. The zoom out, I guess. Not so much of a problem, but I kind of like to zoom out, like, a lot. I could see half of the goddamn battlefield. Um, I'm guessing it wouldn't be so much of a good thing on legendary difficulty because I couldn't. Wait, what the hell? Where are they? Oh, here. Outside for him.
Damn, that's a real nice little line you got there. Like, a spear in every single line. These above, these these little spears are kind of useless. Not sure why. Why the hell would they need that? Like, no one's gonna come flying. Well, maybe that could deflect an arrow or something. Not sure. All right, are they just standing? There? Yeah, they're just standing there. Um. Right, you move. You also move, you also move. Okay. Did that change anything? No, it does not. Oh, I can see a little bit more. Let's see. Hmm, they also have skirmishers, which I kind of didn't notice. Um, they have all the range units. Not so many meal units, uh, just a few, which are uh, Eastern Spearmen. Which is pretty bad for them because they're pretty crap. If I'm totally honest. Would it be possible for me to like move here and and not get noticed? Nope. Oh never mind. No 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 no. Walk, walk. Oh, they've they've been discovered. So sad. I wonder uh, if the AI is as stupid as everyone says, like um, I mean by um, if I go out of stealth and I quickly go back to into a forest an example this little situation we got here um, if I just expose my entire cavalry and just hidden in a forest will they forget about it or will they remember their uh, last position like they're now gonna be cautious from this side or something because that's what they would expect from legendary difficulty it's not something that Ruin like that. That's not something that increases the difficulty a lot, but it's something that I would really love to see. Let's put my challenge men in front. I mean, let's put them first. Uh, let's put them here. Yeah, they're not attacking me. God damn it! Hmm. I'm not really sure how should I approach this because I want to lose as as little men as I can, but at the same time, um, no, let me rephrase that. I want to lose all of my men except, well, yeah, including my general. Uh, but I want to kill all of their men as well. Basically, I don't want to pay the, pay the upkeep for them, uh, and I don't don't really want to lose the city. That's not something I would like. Their upkeep is quite fucking massive. I drop down from a thousand to minus sixty-six, just like six units. Right, will I have to fucking move again? How far do these guys range? All right, it's pretty little. Um, it's pretty small. Oh, whatever. I'll do a little crossover. Um, can they shoot? I'm guessing the slingers could, but they. Oh, they're shooting. Yep, they're shooting. The men are wavering. Let's 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 kill them. Whoa, 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 whoa! What? Wow! Holy shit! I I wouldn't be surprised if I lose this this fight. Not by a single fucking bit come on shoot him um, can you spread or something oh shit oh shit oh shit oh, 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 oh. did they do any damage no zero what the fuck you know for a bunch of expensive skirmishers they're pretty shit Come on, come on. Oh, you can't reach him. Our general is under attack. Okay, I'm guessing we'll have to place him over here. Yeah, it's gonna be quite a massive slaughter. Let's just 
skirmishers. Why the hell aren't you? God. Oh wait, they can walk and throw? Holy oh, crap, I did not know that. Oh, maybe they will get a charge off. Hey, it's hit skirmish mode, you bunch of... Oh, my fucking god. Oh, they're so fucking stupid. I said skirmish mode, you retards. Yeah, of course. What can you expect from a bunch of goddamn mercenaries? Okay, I'm gonna try to get as much damage off and hope that my garrison is strong enough. Um, my army can beat those guys um, pretty easily, but... Shit, come on, come on, come on. Kill him. Come on, you have spears, kill him. I really hate the fact that these guys are just literally doing nothing productive at all. Oh, a lot of their men is, uh, are uh, routing. Let's, let's try to focus on the ones that aren't routing. Let's, let's get let's get some some shots on these guys. Go on, stop sleeping. Mind me asking the fuck? Come on, come on, come on, line up. Line the fuck up, man. Shit. Um, actually, if I'm totally honest, I kind of got... Oh, shit. Um, I kind of got what I wanted. Kinda. When I say kinda, uh, I said... I, I say, like, 20% of what I wanted. Um, I got rid of the tax away, though. But... I did get some kills off. Like, four full units left. That's pretty legit. Um, yeah, I, I lost substantially more than I got than I killed. Um, they had quite a lot more missile infantry. Yeah, whatever. I'll try to kill him next time. Right. Um, oh, I, I'll retreat to my fortress. So next turn they'll attack me. Uh, let's see my what's my garrison. It's some oh, holy crap. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna have like five, like 800, 900 men. So I'm not sure what I was worrying about, but yeah, killing killing off 50% of their army is pr pretty nice. Pretty nice. Like not a single one of them. Oh, this these guy, these two men, these two units, um, have more than half health. Everyone has less than half, which is pretty nice. Um, let's see, only one general left, and the garrison of Mazaka is Ooh. pretty normal. Pretty normal. I'm gonna have to trapeze us. Uh, if this army is vanquished, then there's nothing uh, holding me off, prepares us, honestly. Um. Anyways, um, that's all the time I have for today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, if you want me to cover a bit more on the news, um, and if you want to get notified on the patches, if you don't own the game per se, uh, but want to get it once it's completely fixed, um, just comment below and I might release a video um, every time there's a massive patch that actually changes the game um, and it isn't just like a complete joke like patch 1. <laughs> patch 1 didn't change shit in my opinion. Um, the game still crashed, uh, the armies, even my armies were still fucking retarded, um, the enemy AI was... Terrible. Terrible is the least I can say. I'd say pretty fucking bad, but it, it was pretty fucking terrible, honestly. Um, anyways, uh, thanks again for watching, um, and I'll see you next time.